Hey there, it's Steve here, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll teach you a chord that can really spice up your chord progression with this unexpected yet pleasant sound. So first we'll take a look at what this chord is and how we can use it, and then I'll show you a bunch of examples of it used in context. So the chord we're talking about in this video is a flat major three chord. So if you're familiar with your major keys, so let's say the key of C major, when we go to the third degree, we have a minor chord built from that note, in this case C, D, E, that's going to be an E minor. However, we're going to replace that E minor with a major chord, and to do this we're going to borrow a chord from the parallel minor key. So if we're in C major, we're going to look at C minor. And in C minor, we're going to have an E flat major chord. And now we can see where that flattened note is coming from. In the key of C major, we have an E. In the key of a C minor, sorry, we have an E flat major chord there. And the same goes as well for the flat major six and the flat major seven you can see here. They've all been lowered one semitone. So what does that sound like? So in a key of C major, that E minor chord, becomes an E flat major chord. Or you could include both of those. So basically what we can do, any key you play, you can either include or replace that minor third chord with a major third chord to get some really interesting uh, sounds in your songs. So let's take a look at some examples of how this can be applied in the context of songwriting, especially we'll aim for the, the math rock vein because that's what we do here. Um, so in the intro there you heard a song called Restarts and it's the one that I wrote for my band Mountains. And this progression is built around an A major, an E major and an F sharp minor. So there we got a four, one, uh, two progression. <laughs> What I do is I bring in that major third for this unexpected yet pretty cool bit of tension to the song. Another way we can use this is to get that kind of classic British math rock sound. I'm thinking bands like Delta Sleep and Tangled Hair, where they cycle between these two chords, and one of them sounds like it belongs, but it's also got a bit of tension to it. And usually it's either like a flat major three or a flat major six chord. In this case, I'm gonna go with that flat major three for this video. And I'm gonna cycle, so in the key of A major, and I'm gonna start on the four on a D major nine chord. And then I'm going to bring in this flat major three chord, which is going to be a C major chord. <laughs> another borrowed chord, a dimin half diminished one, uh, just one fret away, it really completes the sound. <laughs> The final example I want to give you today is going more into the uh, progressive kind of math rock kind of sound. So here I'm imagining like um, we're bringing in more jazzier kind of chords and this works perfectly for that. Again, it's a chord that's unexpected but it does fit really well in the progression. So for this one we're going to start again on the four chord and we'll bring in that flat major three. Mm -hmm. 